Good afternoon. Today I want to talk about the Services tab and the Projects tab. Let's begin with the Services tab. Now under here we currently only have service areas and districts such as what utility area am I in or what electric service area am I in. Am I in? All right, let's pick uh, this tab. Now in order to do this you need to pick a parcel or search for one. So let's uh, search for a parcel by address. All right, let's pick this address. And it'll zoom into it, highlight it, and it'll offer you these links that you can now click on. So to find out if this parcel is in GRU's water service area, click that link, and it's inside. And it's recommended to read this uh, disclaimer here. And let's get the, uh, is it inside GRU's wastewater service area? It is. Let's find out what electric service area it's in. Uh, GRU. There's a link to the website and there's the link to the outage map. And what water management district is this parcel in? It is in the St. Johns River Water Management District. All right, let me pick, uh, let me zoom out to the whole county. And again, there's layers up here that you can toggle. So there's the extent of the GRU's water service area. GRU waste water, water management districts, impact feed districts. All right, let me pick one uh, in the county here. And let me turn the overlays off with this icon here. And we'll do it once more. Now you can just click them all at one time. And it's that easy. All right, let me show you the uh, GRU's water service area. And what this is, is they take the extent of the current pipe that's in the ground and they extend that by a quarter mile. So this is area that potentially could be served by GRU. It's not a guarantee, but it's potentially possible. You can verify it by calling GRU. All right, so this takes care of this um, services icon. Now in the future, we're, we are going to have a, a service request system Whereas you can um, notify us if there's a pothole, a tree down, or a code violation. And that will be in uh, 2014. All right, now the next uh, icon is the Projects tab. Right now we just have development and land use applications. But in the future, we'll have things like road projects, uh, fairgrounds, or any type of project that the county is involved in. So let's look at the development and land use applications. Now what this is here, these are all applications under review by the Growth Management Department. And that can include uh, rezonings, special use permits, uh, comprehensive plan amendments, and all the development review applications like replats or uh, development review plans. And all you need to do is click on this link here. And the map will zoom into the uh, the application, and it'll give you the description down here below. Also, get the planning commission hearing date and the county commission hearing date. Same with the uh, the replat, which is a development review item. Click that. Here's a description. It's a revised final development plan, uh, and this tells you when the development review committee hearing is. Now another feature of this tab, let me pick, um, let me zoom out, let me clear all overlays, and I'm going to pick uh, Oakmont. Now this is the development that started a few years ago, 
uh, they're still in the process of uh, applying and getting all the uh, plats approved. All right, so every time you click on a parcel or you search for a parcel, this link here gets updated. So now you can get all the application in the past that affect this parcel. So click that link. Now this is going to list all the applications going back to uh, around 1993. And all you need to do is click on one of these. And down here it gives you a description, a link to the map, and a link to the staff report. And it also gives you a link to the resolution if there is one available. So let's pick a DRC item. Here's a more recent one, approved on October 3rd. And to show you how this works, let's pick a I'll pick another parcel on the map. And again, I'm using my scroll wheel of the mouse to scroll up and down here. And you just click this um, link again. Get application for parcel 4422-4. Click that. And here are all the uh, applications. This one's from 2000. Uh, special use permit for a private school. Here's your map, your staff report, and uh, resolution. These are development review. It's for an addition. It's for adding two modular class buildings. And on. And so it's that easy to gather information. And the last feature is there's a number search box at the very bottom. So if you know your application number, Say ZOM. Let me start over here. And it lists all the ZOM 10s. You can see here's one from 99. Let's do that. Now, occasionally it will not. Uh, zoom into it. All you need to do is just type a little more. And there it goes. It zooms into it. Here's your map. Here's your staff report for that uh, particular item. Let me do another one. We'll do, uh, let's do a CPA. Let's say CPA 3-2010. And again, well that's Oakmont. It was denied on October 12th, 2010. Here's your map and staff report. So it's that simple. Thank you for listening.